Do you realize that during this entire year of 2023, NVIDIA corrected very few times and when it corrected, its pullbacks were all extremely weak, extremely pathetic. Yes, NVIDIA stock is insanely bullish and it seems it is just unstoppable. In theory, it is going to hit our target at 289, this green line up here, which we are going to talk about later. Nevertheless, is there any bearish sign, any top sign or any possible pattern indicating that NVIDIA could correct? Well, maybe, but I would not take it too seriously and I will explain why. In this video, I will share the most important key points we should watch on NVIDIA from here. My name is Nathan, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel, so let's start our multiple time frame analysis on NVIDIA stock, starting with the weekly chart. In the weekly chart, it is quite clear uh, to see why NVIDIA is very bullish. I mean, we did we did trigger this head, this inverted head and shoulders chart pattern. We broke this descending channel upwards. We are above the 21 EMA. The 21 EMA is pointing upwards. And that to me, in my humble opinion, we are just going to hit the next resistance level in the weekly chart, which is 289, this black line over here in the weekly chart, which is a previous top level from, from March 2022. So, Yes, this is the next technical target on NVIDIA stock, 289. In my humble opinion, we are going to hit there. Now, if we're going to hit 289 uh, without, with or without a pullback, I don't know. If NVIDIA actually triggers a pullback, I see it correcting to the 21 MA in the weekly chart. A sharper pullback would lead us to the 21 MA in the weekly chart. Now. If we take a look at the one hour chart, in the one hour chart, it is quite important to see NVIDIA above 263. The 263 was a previous top level over here, did work as a support level one, two, three, four times, did work as a resistance level again over here on March 28th, and uh, it has been working as a support level in the past couple of days over here. So, okay, 263 is our main support level on NVIDIA. If NVIDIA loses this key point, I believe we are going to trigger a sharper pullback. Right now, as far as I know, NVIDIA is trying to engage the bullish momentum again. We are above the 21 EMA. We are above the previous gap resistance level over here at 273. The 273 did work as a support level over here on April on April 3 and on April 4, it did work as a resistance level over here again today for a brief moment, but right now we are breaking this resistance level. This is particularly good for the bull trend. Uh, this indicates that Nvidia is going to try to seek the next resi resistance level at 279, this red line over here, while in the daily chart, in the daily chart, the bias is still clearly bullish. As I told you guys, since Nvidia broke its 21 MA over here on January this year, every single one of its pullbacks were very, very weak. We barely hit the 21 MA again uh, on February and again on March this year, and this is it. We just did a brief retest of this support level, and then we bounced it again, we resumed the bullish momentum. This happened over here twice, and then maybe it is going to happen again a third time. We just don't know. Either way, in order for us to see a crystal clear uh, pullback on, on NVIDIA in the daily chart, it is very important to see NVIDIA doing a top sign, losing the 273 in the one hour chart, in my humble opinion. So far, there is not a single top sign, there is not a single bearish structure on NVIDIA, there is just a possible bearish structure on NVIDIA, which we're going to talk about right now, but first, remember my dear friends, join the top 5% community, join the top 5% of traders that can actually make money while beating this market, model portfolios, options, strategies, daily premium analysis on NVIDIA, Tesla, SPY and other stocks. Join my newsletters, check my website, the link is in the description of this video, and subscribe to your free pick, all right? Every single week, I will share a free pick to you. Take a quick look at my website, the link is in the description of this video. Now, 
In the daily chart, we see a possible bearish structure chart pattern, which is, which is a possible head and shoulders chart pattern over here. If Nvidia actually finds a top level below the previous top over here, uh, below the 275, well, there is a decent chance that Nvidia is going to trigger a sharper pullback to retest the neckline of this head and shoulders chart pattern, indicating that we could seek lower levels. What's the problem with this bearish thesis? Well, this bearish pattern wasn't triggered yet. Maybe this bearish pattern will not even materialize. The only scenario that Nvidia is going to correct is going to be if it triggers this head and shoulders chart pattern, if it loses the 21 EMA in the daily chart, if it loses the 258 support level over here, if this scenario materializes, if Nvidia loses this double support level, this dual support level in the daily chart, then okay, then I see Nvidia correcting in the weekly chart to its 21 EMA over here. And this is it. The bias would still be bullish in the weekly chart. Of course, in the one hour and in the daily chart, the bias will be slightly bearish, but uh, the long-term bias will still be bullish. The long-term trend will persist over here because, well, we just triggered many important bullish reversal structures on NVIDIA and it is not going to be that easy for NVIDIA to actually frustrate all of these bullish structures it gave us in the past few weeks, in the past few months over here, all right? Therefore, a pullback to the 21MA is totally plausible, it is acceptable, but in order for NVIDIA to do that, we got to trigger this head and shoulders chart pattern in the daily chart. Otherwise, well, we are going to just retest the 289 resistance level over here, this green line in the, in the daily chart, and this is it. Of course, I'm going to keep you guys updated every single week. And for daily analysis on NVIDIA stock, subscribe to my newsletters, check my website. The link is in the description of this video. Join this channel, subscribe if you are new around here. Thank you very much for your audience. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.